Hey, what's up, Divine Ones? It's Latoya Okia. Welcome back to another video. If you are new to the channel, I'm a life coach, I'm a minister, and I'm a business mentor. I train and certify women and men to become life coaches so they can work from home, drop their nine to fives, and create an income while making an influence. So if that sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure you click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you can get your notifications every time I upload a new video to the channel because this channel is all about empowering you to rise up to be the leader that God has called you to be activate beast mode and walk in your divine purpose okay so on today's video on this Sunday I wanted to bring you a Sunday word and this is what the Lord will have me to speak to you God say you know what it's time that you position yourself for this increase right you've been praying for this blessing you've been praying for this anointing you've been praying for the blessing of the lord to fall on your life many of you you've been praying and asking god to overflow in your life to increase to expand to enlarge your territory and i came to let you know today baby that god is about to do just that come on somebody y'all go down there in the comments put that in the comments say i'm ready to receive the overflow i am ready for for the lord to enlarge my territory because i'm telling you this is the season this is the time where god is going to get ready to do it just for you but the lord sent me on this video to let you know baby that there is something that you got to do before he release upon your life before he unleashed the overflow over your life today listen to what god say you got to position yourself for this increase you got to position yourself for the overflow because one thing i found out about god baby he don't unleash on you unless you in the right position you got to be in the right place in your life and you got to be in right standing with god it's a few things that you got to do before the lord will let the blessing of the lord fall on your life before god open up the windows of heaven and oh yes baby i just heard god say that i'm getting ready to open up the windows of heaven come on now he said i'm gonna pull you out a blessing that there will not not even be enough room to receive it and let me tell you something about god baby god don't know scarcity do you understand me all god knows is abundance he don't know scarcity so we got to realize that when we come to god asking god can i just get twenty dollars lord send somebody to give me twenty dollars to give me some gas money so i can get to work i just need five dollars to get me some lunch see god don't understand scarcity baby because the only thing that god recognizes is abundance somebody say he's an abundant god and god say jesus said i come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly in other words jesus was telling you i don't want you to just be penny pinching i don't want you to be robbing peter to pay paul come on now i don't want your body to be sick i don't want you to be broken down god say i want you to get up and i want you to not only live life but i want you to live it more abundantly i want you to have it more abundantly i hear god say press down come on now shaking together and running over shall me and give unto y'all god said that's what's getting ready to happen for you if you can position yourself come on somebody if you can get yourself in alignment for what god got for you baby god said it ain't no limit to what i'm getting ready to do for the divine ones i feel the power of god today baby god say i'm finna let it all fall down on you do you understand me baby and god said these folks are gonna be amazed at what i have done in your life because many of these people around y'all they counted y'all out they said you were never gonna be nothing said you will never amount to anything but god say baby i'm getting ready to increase you Come on, somebody. God say, I'm getting ready to take you from the bottom all the way to the top. Come on now. Somebody say, this is the year of the underdog, baby. This is the season where God finna take the folks that everybody done looked over. And God say, this is the year where the last shall be first. Ooh, and the first shall be last. I just heard the Lord say, there's a shifting in the atmosphere. Come on now. He said, there's a shifting. God said, the tables are getting ready to turn. So listen, you got to get yourself in alignment. And you got to get in position so you don't miss this move of God. Y'all put that in the comments, baby. Say, I'm not missing this move of God. I might have missed the last move of God, but I bet I won't miss this one. I bet I'm going to get myself in position so I can get what God got for me. Let me tell you something, baby. You got to get yourself in position so you can get what God got for you. If you out of position, your blessing going to pass you by. Listen to what God say you got to do. God said the first thing you got to do, you got to forgive. Come on, somebody. These folks done did all kind of stuff to y'all. And God said some of you, you still holding on to this pain. Oh, he said you still holding on to the hurt from your past. But I hear the spirit of the Lord say that you got to forgive, baby. Come on now. God said you got to let go of all this hurt. You got to release it today because the Lord say if you hold on to this hurt, God said your blessing going to pass you by and you will not receive the increase. 
I told y'all in order to get this, you got to be in right standing. You got to be positioned. God said your heart got to be clean. Ooh, he said your heart got to be pure, baby. Do you understand me? Because one thing about it, baby, and two things for sure, God don't bless mess. God don't bless mess, baby. And God said, if you got a mess in your heart, if you got a mess in your mind, he said, I can't bless that because I will be going against my nature. God said, I don't bless mess. So what we got to do is we got to get ourselves in position. And come on, somebody. We got to clean out all this mess from out of our minds. We got to clean this mess from out of our hearts. God said, you got to forgive and you got to let go. Many of you, you're going to have to be like the apostle Paul. Listen to what he say, baby. He said, brethren, I count not myself ooh, to have apprehended. You know what he was saying in that scripture, baby? He's saying, I might not have it all together. Come on now. You might not have it all together, but God said you ought to have this one thing. Ooh, somebody put that in the comments, baby. Say this one thing. Ooh, P Apostle Paul said this one thing I do. He said, I am forgetting those things which are behind me. I feel the power of the living God today. Listen, and he said, I am reaching forth. Unto those things which are before me. Oh, what does that mean, baby? The apostle Paul knew that in order for me to get to the increase, oh, in order for me to get to the blessing, I got to forgive these folks that done wrong me. I got to let go of the pain. Come on, somebody. I got to let go of the hurt because where God is getting ready to take me in this season, y'all better speak to the devil today. Let the devil know you will no longer hold me bound with this hurt. You will no longer hold me captive, but I break free today. I hear the spirit of the Lord say, he breaking y'all free today, baby. I can hear the chains falling off of y'all today. Everything that the devil done had you in in bondage and captivity, it done loose you today because you got to be free, baby. God said, I need you to be free for you to receive this increase. Glory be to God. God needs you to be free, baby. But you got to forget those things that are behind you. It's going to be a lot of stuff from your past that's going to be pulling on you, going to be tugging on you. I see a lot of y'all having to go through tug of war in the spirit. You having to push and pull and tug your way through. But I hear the Lord say, be strong in me. Come on now. The Bible says that you got to be strong in the Lord, baby, and in the power of his might. Come on now. And God said, you got to get ready because the increase is coming. Don't you let the devil stop you from your blessing. I feel the power of God today, baby. Apostle Paul said, I'm forgetting those things that are behind me because I got a death destiny that I got to get to. Come on now. Somebody tell the devil, say, I got a destiny that I got to get to, baby, because I want to tell you that the Lord has predestined you. Oh, do you not know, baby, that the Lord has destined you for greatness? Oh, he's destined you for success. Do you understand me? He's destined you for healing. He's destined you for prosperity. But the Lord say you will never get what I got for you if you stay stuck in your past. Somebody ought to get up today, baby. And God said, don't just get up. God said, I need you to get up running. Woo. God said, I need you to get up with running in your feet, man. Come on now. God said, get up with running in your feet, woman. And God said, I need you to take out. God said, I need you to foot it, baby. I need you to run towards your destiny and forget them folks. Come on now. Somebody put that in the comments, baby. Say, forget them folks. Ooh, that's what Apostle Paul was trying to tell you in this scripture. He said, you got to reach forth, baby, and you got to forget them folks. Glory be to God. Listen to what else God said you got to do, baby. He said you got to focus. Oh, he said you got to stay focused. Do you understand me? God said you got to get your vision in your mind. Oh, and he said then once you got the vision, he said you got to get tunnel vision on the vision. Come on now. Y'all put that in the comments, baby. Say I got tunnel vision on the vision. Oh, I don't see nothing on my left. Come on now. I don't see nothing on my right, but I got tunnel vision on my vision. Let me tell you something, baby. They're going to be talking about you. Oh, they're going to call you everything but a child. Of God, do you understand me? But you got to have tunnel vision on your vision. God said the number one reason why people don't make it to the destiny that I have set for them, they can't stay focused. God said, you better stay focused, baby. Do you understand me? Don't worry about what them folks saying. God said, forget them folks. Get your eyes on the prize. And God said, stay focused. Listen to what the scripture say in Proverbs 4 and 25. Listen what Solomon was telling us. He said, let thine eyes look right on. Ooh, and let thine eyelids look straight before thee. In other words, Solomon was trying to tell us that in order for us to get to the destiny, ooh, in order for us to reach greatness and success, we got to stay focused, baby. Do you understand me? We can't get to where we're going if we're looking all over him and looking all over there and looking all behind us. But he said, you got to let your eyes look straight on. Come on now. You got to look straight ahead, baby. And you got to keep on going on about your business. Don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. Don't look at none of these folks. Glory be to God. I hear the spirit of the Lord say, in order for you to receive, in order for you to receive the increase that God has for you, baby. 
Glory be to God. You got to forgive. You got to let go of the hurt. And then God said you got to get your vision. And then you got to get tunnel vision on your vision. You got to stay focused. My God. It's going to be many distractions that are going to come up against you. Do you understand me? Satan is coming with the distractions, baby. God said, you think you done seen something. You ain't seen nothing yet. The devil come to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus said, I come, ooh, that you might have life. Come on, somebody. And that you might have it more abundantly. God said, I want to bless you real good. Do you understand me? He said, I want to give you the overflow. But God said, you got to meet me halfway with this thing. Come on, somebody. God can't do all the work and you sit by lazy. Don't want to do nothing and want the blessing to fall in your lap. You got to get up and put some work in too, baby. You got to forgive. You got to go inside and clean out all that mess. So when God unleashed the blessing, you will be ready to receive it. That's how you position yourself for the increase. Come on now. That's how you position yourself for the overflow. Because you can't catch what God is, is dropping from the sky if you got a whole bunch of hatred and anger and bitterness and animosity in your arms. God say your arms too full. You can't even catch what I'm releasing to you. So you got to drop that stuff, baby. Somebody put that in the comments, baby. Say drop it like it's hot. Oh, you got to drop it like it's hot, baby. Drop all that mess. I know it gonna, it's going to be it's gonna be awkward. I know it's gonna, you're going to be afraid. Because you're going into the unknown Let me tell you something In order for you to change You got to step out into the unknown You got to be brave You got to be strong But the Lord say it's in you baby He said I ain't asking you to do nothing That I have not already given you the power to do Greater is he that is in you baby Than he that's out there in the world I feel the power of God today baby On this Sunday word God said you got greatness in you baby Come on now You got the anointing of God on the inside of you All you got to do is activate it Somebody ought to activate beast mode today. Come on now. Somebody ought to get up from their mess. And somebody ought to clean out their heart, clean out their mind today. And position yourself for the increase, baby. And God said, I'm going to take you straight to the top. Ooh. And God said, don't be like a lot of these other folks that don't work on themselves and don't heal and don't forgive. And they miss their blessing. God said, I want the divine ones to get everything I got for you, baby. Don't you miss out on this blessing. You got to position yourself for the increase. And God said, many of you, you're going to have to make some sacrifices. You're going to have to get rid of some folks. Get rid of some no good folks in your life. Some no good friends. Uh huh. You're going to have to disconnect yourself from some folks. Because in order for you to get the increase, to get what God got for you, everybody can't go where you're going. Come on now. Everybody can't make it to your next level. Some folks got to drop off from your life. Are you willing to drop off who needs to go? I hear God say, take inventory over your life today. If there's somebody there that's not supposed to be there, I hear the Lord say, remove them. Come on now, don't you let nobody stop you from your destiny. You got somewhere you got to be. You got to be like Jesus. Jesus said, didn't you know? Didn't you know? I must be about my father's business. I ain't got time to be running with these folks. I got to go do what God told me to do. And God said, it's time for y'all to step into your purpose. That's why you're on this channel right now. Because it's time for you to step into your purpose. Glory be to God. Position yourself for what God got for you, baby. And God said, I'm going to take you straight to the top. I love each and every one of y'all so very much. I am Latoya O'Keel, your life coach and your motivational speaker. To all of my aspiring life coaches, if you are interested in becoming a coach, I want you to click the link in the description for my life coach certification course. Come and connect with me on Instagram. You can follow me at I am Latoya O'Keel. DM me any questions or concerns that you have about the course because if life coaching is your calling, I want to help you get into that calling so you can activate beast mode, okay? And walk in your divine purpose. I love y'all so much, and I will check in with y'all later.